Yo, so I'm reading a lot of comments from yesterday um, about us thinking we're, uh, or me thinking Dan is better than everybody. Um, <clears throat> you know, just bullshit. People call me a pussy. Uh, same old people calling her ugly and everything. But, um, uh, so I think what a lot of people don't understand is that we don't book all of our own shit. So a lot of times, like an event like this, it's booked by someone else. And I've been sort of stepping away to take care of other things, not to book um, all of our events. So like, for example, yesterday, <clears throat> I wasn't necessarily mad at the hotel. Um, I wasn't necessarily mad at the people that booked us. Like I didn't want a free room or something like that. But the booking being that we landed so early, um, I mean, I, another thing, we've we haven't been home since Orlando, which whatever, but, um, you know, it's, it was a, it was a, a two and a half hour drive, two hours early. It's five and a half hours plus the seven hour flight plus the hour to here plus the seven hours and Dana didn't get a real bed. And <clears throat> I think what people don't understand from yesterday is they think that, you know, I think that she's a big deal and blah, blah, blah. And the fact um, the fact is, I'm not being a prima donna. She's not being a prima donna. She actually had no issue sleeping on the couch. She was apparently fine with it. The issue that I have is it makes her look unprofessional. It makes me look like I'm unorganized. And bigger than all that, she's not getting adequate rest. We had a full day yesterday where she could have rested and got on point. Now, the reason that Dana needs to be rested is because today she stands at an event all day long and there's people that wait in line for three hours. And when those people get to her, they say things like, you changed my life. You changed my daughter's life. You know, I was overweight. I've lost 100 pounds. And now my daughter lifts weights with me. And, you know, we're living a healthier, happier lifestyle. And people say stuff like that to her all the time. I mean, every other person has some giant story that how Dana inspired them. Now, Dana's obligation to those people is to be rested is to feel good, is to be, is to be the best Dana that she can be, that happy, that go lucky Dana that feels good. But if I drop the ball on booking, on making sure or booking the hotel room the night before so we don't have seven hours to kill in a lobby after flying internationally, then they're not going to get the best Dana Lynn Bailey possible. You know what I mean? They're going to get a tired Dana and they're going to say, Dana, you changed my life. And Dana's going to be like, oh my God, you know, that, thank you so much. And she's going to be off. And they're going to leave there and be like, I just stood in line for four hours. And she didn't really seem that excited. You know? They don't, they're not going to know that the night before or the day before she had to sleep in a hotel lobby. They're not going to know any of that. All they know is their experience right there. They didn't get the best Dana Lynn Bailey they could get. And that's what she owes them. And what I have to fill sail tidy on the back end is making sure that she's in a hotel room so she can get rest. I dropped the ball yesterday. I didn't want a free hotel room. I pay for fucking everything. If anyone's around me, if any, if any of you people have ever eaten with me, have ever done anything, I'll pay for all your shit. I take care of the people around me. I have no issue. I don't want free hotel rooms. I don't want fucking anything, you know? If anybody even knows anything about me, if you ever met me in a booth, like, I don't want your free shit. I love to pay for shit. Because I don't like to owe people anything. I don't know. Yesterday I dropped the ball. And the fact of the matter is, yeah, you know what? These motherfuckers are saying I'm crying about it. The fact of the matter is, yeah, you know what? I was upset. Do you know why I was upset? Because I had to watch my wife uncomfortably lay on a fucking rock hard fucking couch for seven hours when she should have been in a hotel room and it was my fault. That's not me being a prima donna. That's me giving a fuck about my wife. And if you motherfuckers don't care about your wife like that, if you don't think that your wife is more special than everyone else, every single person watching this video that has a wife, you should think in your mind that your wife is the best fuck motherfucker in the world. That your wife is more special than anyone else. And that's what I think. You know, I'm not going to argue that my wife's better than your wife. But in my mind, in my fucking heart, I think my wife is better than everyone else. And I hope that she thinks that I'm better than everyone else. And I hope that you think that your, your spouse, your husband, your wife is better than everyone else. Because that's what you should think. You should, you, should, you should look at them and be like, I want to put you higher than everyone else. If you don't do that, you're a fucking asshole. So these motherfuckers 
call me out for nonsense saying that like your wife's not special. You know what? My wife is special. My wife is special. And I'm not going to flex on you and say, you know, my wife fucking is being flown to other countries to, to sign autographs and you're not. I'm not going to say that. What I'm going to say is I think my wife's special. Let's wipe away all that other bullshit. I think my wife's special. So these motherfuckers saying that the ego is a mess and I have issues with the fucking... I don't know. These comments are great, man. Stop fucking crying, Rob. Get over it like everyone else. Your wife is not more important than anyone else. You ugly horse. Jesus Christ, she's not a queen. Everyone has to make sacrifices sometimes. You know the sacrifice my wife makes? Um, by the way, we're not getting paid a cent this weekend. All right? So anybody who thinks we're over here getting paid, we're over here because we want to see the people of England. I'm actually losing money by being here. If we want to break down fucking money, I'm losing money by being at this event. But the fact of the matter is this is the one time we come to England, and this is the one time we get to meet our English fans, her English fans. Um, you should both post be thankful for the position that you're in rather than complaining about something insignificant as sleeping on the sofa once in a while. So she was in Orlando, which we had a great time. She was home for 10 hours. Okay. In 10 hours, she has to get together all of her outfits for this week. Now to a normal person that might not be important, but what I've realized is she gets her photo taken 400 fucking times. So her outfit has to be perfect. People expect stuff from her. She ends up on every single fucking blog site with photos of her, of you motherfuckers that are calling her an ugly horse, uh, of you motherfuckers that are saying these negative things about her. Get the real world. Stop being so selfish and closed minded. Am I not sacrificing a, a weekend where I could be home gathering myself, focusing on my business, focusing on my employees, seeing my mother, seeing my fucking father, hanging out with my pets, hanging out at my fucking house to come overseas? Like, we like doing this. I get it. But the fact of the matter is, wipe all that shit away. She should not have been sleeping on a fucking couch all day when I could have got her a hotel room prior. But they were booked up and it was too late. So you know what? It's a reminder for me that I need to step my fucking game up and treat my wife like who I think she is. And if you motherfuckers are going to sit here and say he's moaning because he believes they should get special priorities because they're a big deal. No, you know what? She's a big deal to me and my big deal should not have to sit on a fucking couch for eight hours. That's My big deal should not have to do that. I don't give a fuck what you think about her. Lewis V. Jackson, random guy on YouTube that... Looks like he doesn't even fucking lift calling me a douchebag. The definition of a douchebag. <sighs> yeah, he, oh, this person gets it. It's not the same thing as going to sleep in a quiet room. He's thinking about how fatigued she will be later. It's a concerned husband. So some people get it. And then some people think she's not a queen. Everyone has to make sacrifices. Personally, I think not sleeping for two days to get to England to meet fans is a sacrifice. Um, I wonder what R. Jones, how they make sacrifices. Stop fucking crying, Rob. There's a lot of comments like that. Horse teeth are because of steroids. These are good comments, dude. <laughs> Checking times are pretty standard. It's all your fault. I'm saying it's my fault. If I would have booked it, this wouldn't have happened, but I let someone else book it. She's a famous person on a niche of a niche of a niche. If you cared about your wife so much, you would have just booked a hotel room for another day. Not hating, just saying. That's totally a relevant comment. Upload this. I don't want to answer all these questions right now. Can you just cut this now? Upload it. Upload it. Stuff. Yeah. And these people that are commenting so bad, um, can you fuck off and stop watching our videos? And tell your friends I told you to fuck off. And... If uh, some of you motherfuckers that are actually really saying some annoying shit, like Louis V. Jackson, um, I travel enough. Come at me in real life, bro. Wait in line for three hours. Or no, you go around the line and sneak around the side and be like, Rob, Rob, Rob. I'm that dude from the internet that has an issue with you. And then we can handle an issue in public. We can, we can, we'll probably argue because I'm not going to fight you because the fact of the matter is... Um, I'm I'll, cut, I'll cut the video here. I'm entirely too fucking smart to fight you. Yeah, cut the video.